People came from Columbia and all over Missouri, so we really need to give a big shout out for that. Thank you to our young radicals. Some people don't understand why you do what you do, but you know I do. And I'm not here to silence your pain. I'm not about to do that at all. I want to point out that if you need, we have water. We have some snacks, so please stay hydrated out here. If you need something, come and get it, please. And today's protest was organized by the Kansas City Grassroots Network, along, along with our partners. Our partners are here. PYO showed up. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing what you do. And we have our surge partners here. Uh, many people signed on to support what we're doing here today. Uh, we, we may read some of those names out later. Um, you got them, Allie? So, supporters. We've got Kill My Landlord podcast, Power, People Power KC, Surge KC, Islamic Center of North Kansas City, Poetry for Personal Power, Squad of Siblings, One Struggle KC, KC Youth, Heartfelt Anarchy, Osage Trail Station Neighborhood Kansas City, Salty, is that a thing? American Friends Service Committee KC, Partnership for the Advancement of Immigrant Struggles, Dualitude, Serve the People, Kansas City, William Jewell Young Democratic Socialist, Kansas City Democratic Socialist of America, Kansas Missouri Dream Alliance, the Kansas Green Party. Kansas City Muslim Civic Initiative, yeah. the Kansas City Incarcerated Workers Organizing Committee nice. of the IWW, yeah. Real Justice Network, and you know the Green Party, you know, Progressive Youth Organization, Woo. Greater Kansas City, uh, IWW, Kansas City Food Not Bombs, and Kansas City Freedom Project, and everybody did not make this list. So we have a wide uh, showing of support for what we're doing here today. Uh, my name is Justice. A lot of you know me. You see me in the streets. If you don't, you'll get to know me. My name is Justice. Um, for your own personal safety, for your personal safety, please look around you. Know who's around you. There are people who have been casing us out and taking pictures. People at the both ends of the park here. There are a couple of people in the midst of us probably. So look around, look at the person next to you and make sure you know who's by you. We know um, that this group is very sneaky and very tricky and most likely will try to be in the crowd amongst us. So if you see something, point them out. Now that we have all of, all of that business out the way, I want to go ahead and call Allie up so that she can give us a briefing on um, Act for America and who they are. Come on up, Allie. Thank you, Justice, and thank you, everyone, for uh, organizing and coming out together to resist today. Uh, when we stand in solidarity, we win, so thank you. Um, today I want to tell you a little bit about Act for America. A lot of questions have come up um, about this group. Who are they? What do they do? Um, well, let's note that the Southern Poverty Law Center has um, identified Act for America as the largest grassroots anti-Muslim network in this country. Boo! <laughs> we are not going to stand for this. 
So in addition to organizing uh, racist, fascist protests like they are doing today, they also organize uh, in the legislature. So as Donald Trump put forward um, this executive order at the beginning of his presidency uh, to ban Muslims from entering this country, we also need to directly connect that to the racist war and the bombings that we have been putting forth on Muslim countries for years through the Obama administration and through the Bush administration, and we are not going to stand for it. We are not going to stand for it. This does not just end with the rise of the Trump presidency and these make America great again, and let's just say America was never great. This is stolen land that we were on, and all of our black brothers and sisters were kidnapped and brought over here. So America was never great. This land is not our land. We are going to stand together in solidarity and fight against groups like Act for America. Fight against people that are out there rallying for Donald Trump. Fight against people that want to say that people with wounds don't have agency over our bodies. Because we need to stand together in solidarity, unite all of our struggles. And when we do, we win. I'm going to give a little quote here um, of what Act for America has said. So their founder has been a known uh, Islamophobe for years. A liar. Uh, she's an absolute liar. That is true. Um, and this march, it has never been about Sharia law. It's never been about Sharia law. Uh, it's, it's completely about vilifying uh, the Muslim community uh, to put forward these racist pol policies. It is incredibly well funded, right? So when we know things are incredibly well funded, we have to look at where is their money coming from um, and, and can make deeper connections uh, to the roots of capitalism and colonialism. Uh, so Gabriel has noted to say, uh, Islamic terrorists are really just devout followers of Muhammad. They are following his example and doing exactly what the Quran teaches. That is an outright lie. This woman is uh, working with this network to spread propaganda, uh, to manufacture fear in our communities, uh, to make people not trust each other. Um, and we have to stand against it. We have to fight against the propaganda and educate ourselves, educate our communities, organize, and stand together and resist. So again, thank you for coming out today. You are the resistance, you are the leaders, and when we stand together, we win. Thank you, Allie. So I want to give a shout out to Black Lives Matter. They're in the house. Thank you very much for driving up. We appreciate it. Allie mentioned something. She said, you're the resistance. And we get a lot of talk about who's your leader? Where's your leader? This is a leader whole movement. We are all leaders in this movement, all right? We cannot risk another Malcolm X, Martin Luther King being taken away from us and then the movement dies. Yeah. Yeah. So, if we are all leaders, they can't kill us all, y'all. They can't kill us all. So, I want to I want to bring up a very important point. I've got I've got some Muslim friends who didn't feel comfortable coming here today. But they wanted us to know that they support our efforts. And so they've written a statement. I'm going to ask Jade. Where are you, Jade? Ah, right here by me. Come on up here and read their statement, Jade. How's it going, everyone? Can y'all hear me through this, uh, this here? This here bandana I got going? OK, awesome, beautiful. So uh, this is an important message from the KC Muslim Civic Initiative, um, also known as MCI. So it starts. There is an ugly tide of hate rising against American Muslims today. The march against Sharia law and for human rights organized by Act for America is the antithesis of the American democratic values that they claim to uphold. The title of the march is an oxymoron. Sharia law entails human rights. The march's premise and leaders demonstrate a deep level of misinformation about Sharia law but Muslims are not responsible for clarifying that misunderstanding. Such rallies fuel hate and sustain divisions between racial, ethnic, and religious communities in the U.S. And the Muslim Civic Initiative of Kansas City condemns such rallies, uh, condemns such rallies that spread hate and misinformation. However, we will not be participating in the counter protest because we do not want our communities to face offensive messages and further anger and hostility between our communities. Below is our response to this rally organized by Act for America. 
So to some of us at MCI, our faith is that of empowering women and upholding justice. The first act of empowering women and protecting children in Islam has to be has been to stop female infanticide. Some dwell on the veil and see it as a symbol of oppression while practicing Muslims perceive it as a tool of liberation and protection. American Muslims, like many Muslims around the world, strongly condemn terrorism and our communities are often the first to be scarred by violence. The majority of American Muslims embody the Islamic and American values of faith, of peace and justice. However, with respect to the TSA and FBI, stopping terrorism is not in their hands. It is up to us to demand from our government to stop aiding military regimes abroad and militarizing their social policies under the guise of humanitarian aid. We call on our allies to unite and bridge the division that is being created here at home. We also stand against the division because it enables more of this violence. So. Yeah, that's that. Thank you, Jay, for reading that. Um, a very important message, and I hope you all really heard that. So, can I get one of my PYO comrades to speak? You want to speak? Can you hear me? All right. First off, like everyone else here, I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for standing with us in solidarity. What my organization is about is stopping things like Act for America. We were working against a racist system, a sexist system, transphobic system, Islamophobic system. We are for the youth in the metro area as well as the working class youth. It doesn't matter if you're a student or a worker. As long as you are under the age of 35, you are welcomed with open arms. We make sure to have our security levels down. We make sure to have things on, on things ready. They are worried about Sharia law coming into this country. They are worried about a religion taking control of the state because they know that the constitution is weak they know it could be it could be interpreted to work whatever way they want they know that there is a separation between religion and state they know it could be stopped if it, it were to happen it is all islamophobic rhetoric now i'm about to pass it over to my comrade Well, let's talk about the background that all led to us all being here today. Capitalism is decaying. Markets are destabilizing. Unemployment is rising. The system is falling apart. The fact is that people on both sides, all sides of the spectrum, want change. But not alternatives to the system have been good. The thing is, the reason why they are there, the reason why they feel the need to do this, is that fascism has presented itself falsely as an alternative to the system. It rejects the covert exploitation that capitalism has of women, of disabled people, of people of color, of queer people, and replaces it with brutal, open, and unapologetic forms of oppression. 